Okay, so we left off with Haley heading to City Hall. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay, so where is the Haley token then? Right here. Ah, little tiny speck. <laughs> yes, the building right, so. Yes. Well, it's the 41st millennium. Everything is fucking huge. Um, at City Hall, there are guards posted basically at any entry point um, who will ask you your identity, how long you've been on the planet, how long you've been in the area, and what your affiliation and uh, belief in the Imperial Creed is. My name is Jane. I arrived only... I arrived only recently to your planet and even in, and just today just upon today. your uh, quaint little village here. <clears throat> and of course I I live to serve the Emperor and she did sign the Aquila and bow. My life is in his service. Ah, a new immigrant. Very well. Uh, please proceed into the immigration office, fill out uh, the necessary forms, and uh, wait until uh, an Adeptus cleric has uh, been made available to proceed with your immigration documentation and approval. I am actually just a humble traveler, sir. Pilgrim. Pilgrim. I merely wish uh, for some maps of your island. <laughs> the guard's going to look at you like, what the fuck? Um, and kind of shake his head and say, say that again. I heard I could find, ma uh, I could possibly find a map of your island. Uh, <clears throat> All right, he's going to roll scrutiny on you. She is here for a map. Yes, but uh, there's something fishy about you. So uh, he's, he's going to... Uh, these are the only people who seem to be armed with basic weapons and this guard is going to grip his gun uh, not pointed at you but he's going to tell his associate to go in and uh, get the uh, Adeptus uh, Marshal Sir, I swear you I mean no harm and he, he just sort of nah, 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 nah to you, like, don't, don't you speak. Are you just going to wait for the marshal, or are you going to try anything? Uh, she'll just nod and wait patiently. Okay. So, eventually... Oops. I got her name right. There we go. Marshal McLuhan comes out. And the guard is basically going to say, Ma'am, this individual has stated her name as Jane, did not provide any last name. She states she is not an immigrant and has come here to get maps of the city and island. Marshall's going to look you up and down, and I'm also going to roll a scrutiny roll for her. Uh, she'll look to the guard and say, well, guard, uh, why did you come and get me? Says, ma'am, she uh, is armed with a uh, number of weapons, and he'll basically have to point them out for her because I met Haley's not got them super concealed, but she's not flaunting them, right? Definitely not flaunting them. Right, but like if the wind hits her clothes, right? Yeah, I'll be like, oh, hey, look, there's a pistol, and a shotgun, and another pistol, and uh, you know, she's 
got basically the armor pack and the grenades. And he's basically going to point those out and say, I've, I'm not sure what kind of person comes to a town like ours armed like that. And he thought it would be prudent to have, you know, the marshal inspect this woman. Marshal kind of nod and say, all right, Jane, why don't you come into my office and tell me why you're here? As you wish. Okay, so she'll basically lead you over. And the Arbeit's office here is still pretty small, but of course it's 40K, so by our standards it's fucking huge. But basically it's her, a deputy, and uh, a, a, a kind of, not a servitor, but a servant, basically, who uh, just a scribe, basically tending to paperwork. And the deputy looks you over, just gets back to his desk work, talking with the scribe. And the marshal leads you into her private office, points to the seat. She'll take a seat across from you at the desk and say, all right, Jane, who are you and why are you here? My name is Jane. I am merely a traveler here. I wish for some maps uh, so I could better know the island. Simple traveler. You see, we, we don't get simple travelers coming out here, uh, especially not when we just up and started uh, our own little war with some goddamn heretics off to the east. So um, I think you can understand we're, we're a little bit wary about somebody coming up who apparently only has a first name and uh, has grenades, shotgun, and pistols on them. You're a bounty hunter, aren't you? Well, there are people of any kind. Uh, as for the weapons, well, bounty hunter is certainly the way to put it. And it is a dangerous galaxy. And why are you here? Uh, I must confess, business. Well, seeing as I'm in charge of the safety and security of this uh, little town here, your business is my business. I assure you that I mean you and your settlement no harm. Words are just air coming out of your mouth hole. And uh, the more you say, the less I'm inclined to trust you at this moment, Jane. So either you start giving me what I need to know, or maybe a little time in the lockup will help refresh your memory. I'm sorry. I need to work on my interpersonal skills. I have come here tracking a certain... Certain, <laughs> certain someone. Yes, thank you. A uh, certain someone. And I did uh, while I was on route. I did hear of possible heretical incursion on this world. Although what I got here was not as I expected. Well, if you're a bounty hunter looking to hunt a particular bounty, me, being marshal of these parts, will need to approve of that. So hand over your bounty hunting license and let me know who it is that you're hunting down and, uh, you know, pay the traditional fee and we'll set this up for you so you can go about your work. It is not a bounty I'm searching for. The person I look for has committed their crimes. Well, if you're here on personal matters, 
then perhaps you'd feel good enough to relinquish those grenades and two of them guns. The grenades, I shall relinquish them in the, um, I do request that I be allowed to keep my weapons. Okay, give me a roll. You can keep one of your firearms. I'm not going to throw them away. You can take them back when your business here is done. But uh, considering we're basically marching to war, thanks to the goddamn heretics out at the East, unless you're going to help us with that, then no, I see no reason you should be armed better than we are. I could possibly I could give you some assistance. Go on. Uh, in my search, my search will more than likely lead me to this uh, free city at some point or other. Free town. They're smaller than us. They're practically just a village. Free town. Well, if that's the case, uh, give me a moment. I, I got somebody I need to call. And uh, basically, she's going to pick up a phone receiver for a Vox communicator. And uh, she'll just give you a hand gesture to wait a minute. And uh, she'll say, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, this is Marshall McLuhan. And uh, I'm going to need you to get a hold of, uh, what was his name? Zell. Yeah, I'm going to need you to get a hold of Redemptionist Zell and let him know we uh, might have ourselves an ideal militia leader here. I'm um, in the arbiter, arbitrator's office. Have him come over or send one of his uh, trusted lieutenants. And when she's done on the phone, she'll hang it up and uh, look to Haley, and, oh, sorry, Jane, and say, uh, Redemption is Zell's pretty much the closest thing we've got to a general here on this little hunk of dirt and grass. But uh, he has a way with words. So if you want to help us, then you talk to him. I understand. Thank you. You can just wait in the room out front there. You should be here in the next 10 minutes or so if, uh, if what, is, uh, scry or what is initiate told me is accurate. Understood. Thank you very much. Okay. So, Frosty, go ahead and move your token over to the Haley token. Okay. And it, how would you describe your redemptionist? Well, he is, uh, like in the token, it looks like, a very uh, elderly man. Also, the facial expression on him, and they're a little bit grumpy, grunzled look on his face uh, is accurate to him, mostly because the people he has uh, pre preached for and led have been, some of them have been a, a slight, uh, what would you say, a disappointment, and the most recent uh, happenings have made him even more uh, grumpier. And he's wearing a... Uh, Quite nice looking uh, set of uh, robes. Okay, and uh, would he bring any entourage with him or would he come solo? He would come solo. Okay. So he would enter the room, uh, look at Haley, and uh, they, uh, I was asked to come here uh, as soon as possible. I assume uh, you, child, are the reason of summoning me? 
I am. I apologize if I took you away from any point. It's okay, child. Uh, I saw you uh, entering and uh, leaving the church, so you're m most obviously a uh, emperor. Uh, what would be the right? Emperor fearing? Yeah, emperor fearing uh, person. So, uh, what I was relay the information I was relayed was a bit vague. So, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what is the situation I'm needed for? I have come to your world um, searching, searching for a certain someone close to me. I have I got word that she might be somewhere here. Uh, however, I did not know what the situation with the free town uh, before I arrived. Yes, however, those, uh, those lost uh, lambs from Emperor's Guiding Light, I really pity their uh, fate or lack of it. Seems many sheep are strayed from the flock. They need to be reined in once more. Mm. Uh, I will. I, in my search, I fear I might end up having to travel to this free town at some point. Go on. There, I could be of assistance to you. I could uh, possibly gather some information on what exactly they are there, there, even possible uh, war plans and uh, information I can use uh, during my search. I couldn't catch the end of that, it got completely garbled. I can uh, relay some. I could possibly gather some information on you for you that would be useful, um, such as possible uh, battle plans or how they set them, how they uh, ready themselves, if at all, and relay that back to you during my search. First, child, tell me, what do you see when you uh, uh, or what do you feel when you pray upon the Empress, uh, Emperor for Strength? I feel this. Light and wisdom uh, guiding me. Well, our little, uh, what would he call his this group, this town? Community? Community could use a, uh, someone strong fated since just recently some of our uh, people were little lost by this false prophet and they need hope they need someone to look up for that someone could be you But we can talk this uh, with more detail in a little bit more uh, more comfortable uh, surroundings. Uh, I will tell the marshal to let you keep your weapons for now. I thank you. I thank you. 
and uh, Zell would uh, tell Haley to Jane. Meet, uh, <laughs> sorry, Jane uh, to meet him in the church later on or the cathedral as he would uh, set things with the marshal. I don't think we don't need to go any uh, details on that, but he would ask the marshal to return Haiti, uh, Jane's weapons to her. <laughs> no. no, well, he would tell her to let her keep her weapons for now. Okay. He's in the, she's in a, uh, what would be the word? Uh, She's looked after by the uh, Temple Fate. Oh, but what's it called? Sorry, the what? The what? The group we're called. The Faithful. Whatever. Whatever. Ecclesiarchy, whatever. Oh, Ministorum? Yeah, Ministorum. Yeah. Okay. So they are vouching for her for now. Okay. All right, with uh, that, she would bow and uh, she'd be the sign of the Aquila and wish you a good day. You would return to Aquila. And then is there a receptionist at all? Sorry, what was that, Joe? Is there a receptionist at all? For what, the Arbeit's office or City Hall? City Hall. Uh, what part of City Hall? There are multiple receptionists. Need maps. So, that's so you're looking one. for a general help desk? Sure. Okay, general help desk is, well, give me a roll. General help desk is swamped at the moment with people seeming to wanting to know how they go about making a request to transfer to a different place to uh, live their lives. Like uh, the, the, the pilgrimage, or not pilgrim, sorry, the uh, pioneering on this, this little island. You know, maybe they could go to one of the other islands, you know, one that isn't currently suffering a holy war. And uh, this is not impressing the receptionist too much who just basically keeps repeating to these people no you have been assigned here by mandate of the imperium you have a duty to uphold what it is that's expected of you no you cannot transfer to some other pioneer village on some other island i don't care if you are afraid have faith in the emperor have faith in the ministorum we have a duty to the Imperium to remain stalwart. And still more and more people just seem to keep bugging this poor receptionist with their pleas for getting to live somewhere else. Looks like it's my turn to soapbox. My soapbox. Is there like a or something she could stand on. Sure. Oh, uh, I am not in the right mind for speechifying. <laughs> well, you don't have to do the actual speech if you're not in the right mindset for it, but uh, at least give us the cliff's note of what you plan to say. Yeah, I gotta at least try. I'm <laughs> spending a page point for this regardless. <laughs> okay, uh. She will, uh, clear her throat. Good people of the Imperium. And. Okay, she doesn't know this kind of name or. Is it, uh, uh, 
name is Antigua. Or the... Antigua is the, yeah. It, so, good people of Antigua. Yeah. Good people of Antigua. I know you are afraid. Currently, you live in the dark days. Heretics uh, threaten your very lives. But fear not. For the Emperor watches you. And... We shall answer your prayers. The heretics will be dealt with swiftly and soon. Please hold faith. In the Imperium, the Emperor, and in yourself. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. So I really like that blah 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 part. It was really touching. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and give us your role for the speechifying. Speech! 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 Pretty good. And uh, are you going to enhance it with any prayers at all? Yeah, might as well. Once she's uh, finished, she will lead them in a prayer. Huzzah! So, Huzzah! Very nice. Frosty, I'm going to say your character was able to observe this as he was coming out of the office with the uh, what's or nuts? Marshall. Marshall, thank you, yes. Mm-hmm. So... Oh, Well, uh, at least uh, I'm I'm looking what she is doing with this speech in the end. Uh, so the results look fairly positive. People are responding <laughs> positively to her and are basically disbanding from their attempts to <laughs> flee their duty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The faith needs someone as strong uh, faith as you. We are really honored to have you here. Uh, she'll hop down off the bench now. <laughs> There's a slight smile on Alfred's uh, face after the speech you gave. I'm good prayer. Okay, so are the uh, crowds clearing out now? Yeah, people people are basically getting out of the way, and more appropriate requests uh, are finally getting their chance to be asked at the help desk, and people are going to be guided towards where they need to be. The line long and move or moving swiftly or whatever. Sorry, what? Uh, how is the line? Is it moving swiftly now? Yeah. Uh, moderately so, but you've got time to kill with the redemptionist standing <laughs> right next to you, verbally patting you on the back. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to make sure the stat doesn't do that. I, I... What's... Yeah, go on. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Was there something you were... Uh... Needing child? I was hoping to get a hold of a couple of maps on the island. Well, uh, thinking that this is uh, fairly recently uh, set, little settlement. Uh, we don't have many maps, but uh, maybe we can figure out something. Uh, if you're uh, Leon, for helping us. After all, if you are, we need to help you. If you are helping us, uh, that is what the fate says. Again. Again, thank you. Thank you. Um, and um, if, I, if I may ask you, uh, certainly. That's other, that's other 
sure Ah, uh, the let me find missionary Jebediah. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Sorry. What do you think of him? Well, f he is a man of faith. Uh, he doesn't uh, stick around much since he, like his title says, he's a missionary. He travels a lot, uh, spreading the word of the emperor to the people of this planet and all the little settlements. He's a great man of faith. I see. That is, that is good to hear. Here. Uh, normally, uh, in uh, when he preaches moderation and the other, um, Joey, there. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, just you. You kind of went robo for. Oh, uh, when did I go robo? Oh, I'll just, I'll just repeat it. Uh, when one preaches uh, mercy while the other preaches, I can't think of the word here. Uh, faith and fury, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And the other faith and fury, normally you two clash. Well, um, the words we say might be different, but the uh, sentence they uh, form is in the end the same. The faith to the emperor is uh, what would be the right word for you? Uh, Pinnacle importance. Yes. But out of character, I was thinking obsolete, but that's the wrong word. That's the opposite of what I was looking for. But yeah, pinnacle of uh, importance. Bailey will not. Of course. Is there anything else you would like to know? Since it seems there's a little bit more line still. Ah, uh, yes. Has there uh, been any other newcomers to this island? Uh, there's... Older uh, woman brown hair, perhaps glasses. Give me a roll, Frosty. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm. Well, um, most of the settlers tend to be young, but, uh, well, there was a, an old kind of bitty lady who actually... Yes, yes, she's one of those damned people who joined after you went and uh, punished the heretic for preaching her the aberrant false prophet. false prophet. Yes. So yeah, there was a little old bitty lady who actually you were, you were quite happy that this little old woman was willing to fight in the militia, but then she was one of those that betrayed the militia and stayed uh -huh. over in that damned town. Yeah. Uh, he would relay that to Jane. I see. Most of the uh, do you perhaps know the estimate age of this project? Probably, well, uh, with that role, you'd have to guess probably between uh, 60 to 80. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. She was definitely uh -huh. older. Older. Older person. He would say, uh, well, uh, that uh, she was younger, possibly uh, younger than me, but uh, definitely older than you. Uh, on the twilight, well, probably not 40k twilight years, but... Oh yeah, for, for an average citizen, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
Just on the, the twilight almost. Here. Yeah. I see. I can take that. Uh, yes. Uh, I do not wish to keep you away from the campaign further. I shall not be able to keep you away from the campaign. Yes. Uh, I will first try to. Uh, well. Actually, never mind. Just. Nine thousand seven hundred sixty-nine years old. Sorry, I just saw what Jess wrote. Very well then. Uh, we shall see in the cathedral. She will he will make the uh, sign of Aquila and uh, leave. She will return it bowing and then uh, follow you out a short time after. Okay. Hey, we're getting places. Hey, we're getting places. I think. <laughs> also, Frosty and Bobob uh, messages for you. Uh, Jess, I guess I send it to you in talks. Uh, there we go. Did I mention TeamSpeak? I don't know if mm -hmm. I mentioned TeamSpeak, but yeah, it's in TeamSpeak. I think you're going to have to be sending me that message. I accidentally closed that channel. You I fool! Fire, you fools. I sort of got a mountain going to the south, but I, it, it looks more like sand. <laughs> I tried to make it a mountain. Well, now it's desert. Well, now it's desert. Okay. Uh, Jess, is that going to happen straight away or not? Or is that going to have to wait till like, the next day? <laughs> All right, uh, Haley, basically as soon as you get out of City Hall, a novice from the cathedral will bow before you and for a rolled parchment. Oh, what's this? May I ask, may I ask this? Can the great and honorable... Uh, this is going to take a little while to say. <clears throat> the great and honorable Confessor Cravius M. Pontarius, the head of our cathedral, the master of the watch, chief flogger, handler, and carrier of many sacred duties. I'm honored. Uh, she will unroll the parchment. Basically, it is instructions to enter the cathedral, present this document as you come to the rear of the cathedral. There will be a staircase that is guarded. Uh, you may present the scroll to the guards. They will allow you to cross over a bridge into the library tower. And there you may meet and speak with Big long fucking name Jess's character. <laughs> well, big long fucking oh. name Jess's character. <laughs> I should be foolish to turn down such an opportunity. Uh, she um, can roll it up. Uh, give the sign of the Aquila to the novice and thank him, saying that uh, she will shake me soon. Okay. And a uh, bit of bad news, my. Map tools is freezing up. <laughs> Indeed. Well, we still have the chat going, so at least we can do that. But mm -hmm. nobody touch anything inside map tools right now because I'm not sure what might happen if you try. Don't even breathe. <gasps> but anyway, we can still keep role playing. We just basically. Uh, Jess, you're probably going to have to move your chat into TeamSpeak, though, because I know audio is not presently an option. Oh, wait, it looks like I'm back. Am I back? I'm back. Okay, we're back, and it's saying autosave failure out of memory. Terrific. Okay. <laughs> Just let me make a backup. Uh, but Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure why lately, but my computer seems to be running out of memory crazy. It is dying. 
Yeah. Just like Blech. mine. Well, Jess, it looks like you are going to have to send your messages in the TeamSpeak server. Sorry. But, yeah, um, unless a Bo, Bob or Frosty, you want to stop Jane? Or are you going to let Jane proceed right into the rear of the church, the cathedral? Well, I would... we still need to talk to her, but I don't see this being a problem. No, I would see her and go toward her. Now he goes, like, shows me the paper. I would just take her myself to go see the the confessor. Oh, what a, what a many different ranks and titles Jess's character has. All right, so eventually, right, Haley, so you will be presented. You'll you'll cross over a very nice bridge. Again, it's very ornate marble, carved excellently and exquisitely. And um, you will come to a basically a circular tower chamber with a spiral staircase that wraps around a statue of the emperor, which is the central figure in this tower. Jess, would you? Be ready and waiting for her near the bottom or waiting for her at the top? Bottom? Okay. And um, so... Jess's character is a very large uh, personality that kind of the kind of bombastic sort of presentation that you'd expect from the confessor in charge of an entire cathedral. Uh, is that correct, Jess? <clears throat> oh, yes, good. Uh, glad you could make it, child. He will say, offering her a nod. Could you be a dear? He will say, pointing towards a bookcase towards the side of the room. The red-bound one. Uh, she will uh, nod herself and over to the book and uh, pull it out. Stealing a quick glance at the title as she uh, brings it over to her. And Jess, it should now be safe to use uh, map tools again. Title of the book says the one th a hundred and uh, one thousand and one pages of the Makaisen Kama Sutra. <laughs> Oh, it looks like you did appreciate that one. Testing, Jess. One, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one. Two. Can anybody say that? Oh, I just sent in map tools. Nope. I don't see yeah, that's okay. my freedom. So Map Tools is not working. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to shut down Map Tools, reboot it, and hopefully we'll be yeah. ready and running again. Um, the, the, it's, uh, the, the title is it's basically a book on a particular imperial saint. Um, you have to do a roll, but we'll have to wait to do the roll until after I've rebooted the server. Um, and uh, the... Confessor will say, I hear you've been making your way around our fair town. I have. I have. If you have anything to ask of me, I shall be glad to answer. Hmm. Damn you, Java, and your limitations. Or damn my computer for melting down on itself. Yes, well, I'm aware my associates have spoken to you, have they not? 
I have spoken to you. Yes. yes. Ah, good. Then surely they have mentioned those abhorrent tribes in the other town, have they not? Yes, the, yes, the situation is the new town. I don't know what to expect it to be called now. Uh, everyone should be able to reconnect to map tools now. Loading campaign. Oh, sweet. Bit, one of the best episodes of South Park just came on in the background. Don't you dare get distracted. But it's the world of Southcraft. <laughs> Sounds and right. <laughs> so, uh, Jess uh, had said the Auburn tribes, the abhorrent tribes in the other town, and so... Haley? I already gave an answer. I already gave an answer. Sorry, what was the response? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes. The situation is the free town as they are found in there. Is as you heard, you see these heretics are being led by a very dangerous character, one who takes words against the Emperor's divine light. And you, so you should now be able to have um, uh, chatting inside the uh, map tools, Jess. Okay. Sorry, I do. Uh, you... I do not have one. Yeah, I, I've got to update those again. So I'm just trying to find Haley. I'm not sure where she got left. Oh, there she is. Okay. Yes, uh, they, uh, there was a woman who spoke out and when she was... Sorry, Joe, you're very, very quiet. There was a woman who spoke out and when she was brought to justice, uh, others defected to worship her and death, right? Indeed. Yes, yeah, quite a troubling case, especially for I said I'm going to jump to this. This should that these parasites allowed to spread spread all of them all. However, they are now being led by another just as dangerous, 
willing to spread her name above even that of the emperor, calling her falsehoods and corrupting the souls of those who hear such words. I fear even our town has begun to hear their voices on the wind, a most troubling time indeed. And I do not wish to come off as presumptuous. But, but am I correct in assuming that you that have called me here regarding such matters? Such matters. Yes, no need to assume such presumptions would be taken in any poor light. I have heard you have come well armed, not only in strength of arms, but in spirit. Is that not so? My life, my life is to serve the emperor. If light guides me. As I had heard, and as it is always good to hear, blessed be, blessed by thine emperor's glorious name, then you must understand why I have summoned you here, child. I have an idea, yes. Please do not feel hesitant to speak your mind, child. We are all but servants to his glorious cause. Yes. Yes. I, I, as I, as I have explained to you, there's one that I have come to this world. Currently, my only possible is that they may be in the town. Personally, I do not believe this to be the same person I am searching for, but I must be careful to gain this from us.
Ah, I understand. And you seek to travel to the other town to seek such answers. I, I, I do. Please do not misinterpret that. Uh, please do not misinterpret. I, I do not seek him out to join their numbers. I am no relative. My life is my numbers. Oh, child, I hoped you had not mistaken my hesitation for questions. It is merely that these aberrant creatures have proven to have words like silk to the softer hearts. You must understand, you cannot allow them to speak their falsehoods. These heretics have only words of heresy to spread spread by their leader, who is a dangerous to all of us. I am aware of the risks and dangers of traveling there. And fear not, I shall not find words. Cannot speak, cannot speak. I shall not find it. And I shall bring back what I can, uh, what information I can, in hopes of gaining some campaign in the name of him. I understand, but you must not let them speak their lies, even to you. Their words are dark stain upon the emperor's divine gaze. Take heed, good child. Let not the heretic speak his lies. I understand. And that she will make the healing vow. Nods and returns the sign of the Aquila. 
there any other business that they can give me? No, but please do speak to the others. They may have valuable insights on your travels ahead. May the Emperor's light be with you, child. May the Emperor's light be with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, with that, um, she will turn to leave, but offer a quick silent prayer to the uh, at the feet of the statue for the statue. Okay. And I should split the recording. Okay, splitting the recording. Do you need to?